welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look and see where the water of the Earth is distributed. Now of course everybody knows that most of the water of the Earth is in the oceans, but where's the rest of the water? And what percentage of the water makes up the water in the oceans? So the oceans here, notice that 96.54%, almost 97% of all the water of the Earth is contained within the oceans. On top of that, the ice caps, the glaciers, and any permanent snow that are on top of the mountain ranges account for another 1.74%. So when you combine the oceans and the glaciers and the ice caps together, we're now at over 98% of all the waters contained within those two regions. If we add to that the groundwater, the water that's below the ground, and yes indeed, there are other planets where water is below the ground like on Mars, the fresh water of the groundwater is another 0.76% and the saline water, water mixed with other minerals and salts and so forth, is 0.92%. Adding all that together, we can see that 99.96% of all the water is contained either within the oceans, the ice caps, the glaciers, snow, groundwater, either fresh or saline. That means all the other water combined makes up less than one percent or one tenth of one percent of the water. Now of that, ground ice and permafrost contains 0.02 percent of all the rest of, of all the water available on the earth. Lakes 0.013 percent, which is interesting that all the lakes combined have less water than the water contained within the permafrost. On top of that, the atmosphere contains another 0.001%, swamps 0.009%, and finally, all the rivers of the world combined only contain 0.0002% of all the water on the earth. That's kind of interesting. We always think that the rivers have so much plentiful water, but it's only a very small percentage. Of course, the water in the rivers is constantly replenished through the hydrological cycle. But nevertheless, it's interesting to see where the majority of the water on the Earth is. But again, it's the oceans that cause us to have such a tremendous planet with such tremendous uniform temperature, climate that are very stable and very nice for us to have life on the Earth the way we do. If it wasn't for the oceans, life on Earth would be very, very different. We probably wouldn't be here talking about it.